Hello, and welcome to Ohio Hobbies. All right, so it just so happens to be that time again. It's time for a penny box hunt. Now, this is one of my two regular boxes that I get now uh, from my local Consumers National Bank. I've had pretty good luck with them so far, so I'm definitely going to stick with them. I've also had some really good luck from that Huntington, um, so I may go back to them too as well. We're going to see. I want to try a few other places. Um, I had the two boxes from PNC. They did about okay. But anyway, uh, so this is the one that seems to be doing pretty good so far, and I hope it continues on. Um, I did open it when I got it, and I checked it for uh, circulation, and it was definitely uh, a circulated box. So... I'm looking forward to whatever we may find. It definitely looks like there's uh, some copper enders there. Um, really like to find a key date. That'd be great. Um, so far, I haven't found any of those. But you know what? Really, anytime I'm finding some wheats and they're going in my book, then I'm really happy. But other than that, I'm not going to get disappointed either way. I'm about to have a lot of fun, 50 rolls of fun as a matter of fact, and I hope you come along with me and enjoy the ride. We'll see you back as soon as I find something. Alright, just so happens, very first roll, and when I laid them out, right here, we are going to start out with our very first wheat scent in roll one, and it is a 19... 57 D. That's a way to start out. All right. All right. We made it to seven rolls in the box. And we are going to have our first foreign of the box. It's going to be a Canadian. 1985. So we're going to go ahead and add it to the collection. So far, we've got four, one of each of the 2009s. 159 sitting right there. I had five really, really nice coins from the early 2000s. Um, still just the one wheat. So, we're going to keep going. Hopefully this box heats up. Alright, we just hit roll 10. This box is definitely going a little slow. But I'm not getting too worried yet. Um, but I did just see, I don't know if you can see that. But that happens to be a King George. So we know that's going to be an older Canadian. We're going to go ahead and pull it and take a look and see what we have. This is definitely King George. 1947. Alright, well, at least it's a King George. Huh? Making some progress. Alright, back to the search. We just happen to come across our fourth weed of the box. 1957 out of Denver and that's going to be our second one but we're at four now I'm feeling a little bit better about the box we'll get back at it all right we are currently 11 rolls in and we finally have our second wheat of the box all right let's all take a look together and it is a 1944. Alright, well, second of the box and the oldest of the box. But we'll get back to looking. Alright, we made it to the halfway point. We are 25 rolls in. And I just had a Canadian drop down. So we'll check it out. 2001. My third Canadian. And then fourth. Corner of the box. All right, I left this one sitting here, so hopefully you can see the luster on that thing. That thing is absolutely unbelievable. I barely even want to touch it, and then I drop it. See how I am? Jeez, that is a nineteen. 55 S. I 
take that over and over again. We'll keep going. All right, this happens to be roll number 40. And I'm gonna lay them out right here in the back all by itself. There's another foreign, another Canadian. This time it's a 1980. So we'll add that one to the collection. And we'll keep on going. Okay, roll 36. And there it is. Let's see what we got. A 1952 out of Denver. We'll add it to the collection and get back to the search. All right, so this happens to be roll number 42. Yeah, we seem to be on a bit of a foreign Canadian streak. There's another one. 1976. We're going to add it right over there to the finds and get back to the search. All right, we made it to roll 14. And right there in front, we are going to have our third foreign of the box. And this one's not Canadian. If I remember correctly, I've gotten one of these before. And I do believe that that is from the Bahamas. So we'll go ahead and take a look at it here. It is the Starfish, one cent. And it is 1998. And I do believe it says Commonwealth of the Bahamas. It's definitely uh, beat up and abused on the front. But, you know what? We'll add it to the fines. And keep on searching. Alright, roll 27. And we are going to have another wheat. Nineteen forty-five. This has been an odd box. Forty-four, two forty-fives, and two fifty-seven Ds. Wait until the wrap-up. You'll even see a couple more things that just really kind of surprise me with this box. It's a little slow on the weeds, but it's been unique. All right, we've made it to twenty-one rolls, and we are going to have our third wheat scent. Of the box. Here we go. 1945. That is now the middle child. We'll keep going. Alright, well, this one came as a little bit of a surprise. We just hit a 1950 out of Philly. In pretty good shape. But we will add a as wheat number six. All right, roll number 38, and we got a dirty wheat. A dirty wheat. All right. It is 51 out of Denver. We'll add it to this collection and get back to the search. All right, roll 44, and we finally got off the Canadians. And found a 1944 wheat scent. There it is. So 1944 matches our oldest of the box. Back to the search. Okay, roll number 39. And we are going to have our fifth foreign of the box and fourth Canadian. And it's a young head. There she is. All right, we're gonna add it to the finds. Get back to the search. All right, well, I just laid out roll number 46, and that guy right there caught my eye in the back. It looks pretty worn. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something nice and old here. Nah, 57, out of Philly. But that's all right. It's still a wheat scent. Well, this right here is roll 49. That happens to be 50 sitting there. And 
Up popped a 1947D. So we're going to take him, add him to the collection. Let's see, 47. Right there we go. All right, we'll get back to the search. All right, so we emptied this box. We finished opening all the rolls. And I did mention earlier, this was a bit of a weird box for me. Um, this batch here are older memorials that are, they're stunning. They, they look like they are uncirculated, brand new. And this is actually me being picky about the ones I pulled out. Um, there was more than this. They, the ones that had small marks on them, uh, small discolorations, I quit pulling them. So I'm going to go through these and uh, see if any of these upgrade what I have in my books. Uh, typical in the 79s, I had 35 of those. I had 14 69s. I had four 59Ds. I had, um, is that four 1960Ds? Um, I don't see any repunchment marks in there. Um, I'm not sure about small date, large date yet. I got to check on all that. I might do a later, video later on that. Um, right here, we have our S collection. Believe it or not, there are seven 1974 S's. There are four from 69 S's. And then it's absolutely stunning. 68 S. I think it's stunning. It's still got a lot of the original tone to it. It's almost a goldish color. Um, but that one is definitely going to upgrade my book. I've already looked. But I wanted it in here for the recap. Um, you can see the 2009's there. We got 16 of those. Several of them are pretty nice condition. We have four newer Canadians. We have the Young Head, the King George, and that's the Bahama Penny that we got out of this batch. Um, this one here has some logo stamped in it. Let's see if we can get a better look at that. I didn't video this one when I found it, but it looks like it's got a bit of a G inside of that emblem, and it's stamped on the shoulder. It's the first time I've seen it stamped on the shoulder. Usually, I see it in front of his face, but um, it also marred up the back a little bit where they stamped it. But it is a stamped coin, so I usually pull those out. <clears throat> um, we did pretty good with the wheat scents. We had 12 of them, 244Ps, 245Ps, 47D, 50P, 51D, 52D. My absolute favorite find of the box, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is that 1955S Mint. It's a, still not close to 50 million, I think it was 49 million a minute. Um, so it's a little bit smaller number but that thing is nice it looks nice bright shiny i'm very happy with that <clears throat> two from 57 denvers and 157 philly now there is one other coin that i held back here it's not great looking but it is a 1999 and i've gotten to the point now where every time i see a 99 98 99 or 2000 i check it for the wide am and this one I put under the microscope here. And that's what I see. Now, from all the research I've done, there is a good chance that I just found my first wide AM. But I'm a little skeptical since I'm so new at this. So I did send it out to a couple different uh, places to get a proper professional opinion on it because obviously mine is not professional by any stretch of the imagination but 
if that's a 1999 wide AM, that is my first ever wide AM that I found. I'm pretty excited about that one, but I'm holding back the excitement because I want to make sure. Um, if it is, maybe I'll do a video on it later because I'm pretty excited about that one. But anyway, that ends this hunt. If you would, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little bell notification over there. Every time I post a video, you'll get notified of it. Other than that, I want to thank you for watching and get your hobby on.